Today's game is coming to you live from Hexon, Texas at the raucous AK-47 Stadium, home of the $10 Bible beer and bullet combo meal. The crowd is armed, overzealous, and drunk, so basically a normal Sunday here in Hexon. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The insane Colts go up against the Hexon Oilers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones. Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nutsack was shrinking, and I sprouted this mini me on my shoulder. Bricks Jr., freak me out. You're a pussy. Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. It's, oh, what a great defensive play that was, Briggs. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. Six yard game there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turns on my front porch every day. And that'll be second down and four. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah. Oh man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. It sounded like a Gorilla City on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, oh. Today, Bricks, he had to step up his game. Not only did he step up there, he blew up. <laughs> nice extra effort. Oh man, he just crushed him. <laughs> I gotta see that again. A kicker dying on that play. Hey, that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. Coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's going to go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. The Montoya dirty trick is always good for an easy kill. Hey, man, I was hitting on the now. You know what happened? <laughs> Third down and ten. Gets the ball. That was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL.
And it's first and ten. Great play by the defense results in an Oh, man, he really wants it. And he pumps his way out of that tackle. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? Now, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, nah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. And that's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. And that'll bring up second and one. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback pow with the brain scrambler. I'm a Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, look at this guy break. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First and two. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Yeah, I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You know, oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Pass finds its target. A pickup of six yards on the play. And that'll be second down and four. And another interception. This quarterback is going to... Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. You can't hit. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. The offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. Second and three. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know how to throw interception. And he breaks away. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 20?
25. I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. That's the end of the first quarter. And it's still anyone's game. Second down and six. keeps pounding out the depth hits on WMFL 98.8. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Oh, now. Third and four. message with that hit. Yeah, the message was he can't kill the messenger, because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message, because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. I won't be coming. Third down and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. QB is saying his prayers. This is your brain, and this is your brain. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. And the NFL winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And out comes the most underrated position in football. The mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. They let the punt drop, and it will be downed by the defense.
And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. This guy's a brick shit pow. And how about a little dirt sandwich? And whoever said another hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And this guy runs angry and runs boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. Huh? 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 ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish they could get And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Clem. Comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. A cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. And then Cats will give them a first down with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort. And he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but... You know, you know what they say, sometimes the best offense is a chainsaw full of gas. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap'n Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. Another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Trick. He's so fast he watches 60 minutes and 60 seconds. Second down in a very lot. 
Roid Rage ignites that deep down violent rage and makes you unstoppable. I'll take a Roid Rage for the panel. And that hit jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. And it's first and ten. They've called his half Oh, and there's a lightning strike. You know, they say lightning can't strike twice, but he sure can. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. It's a touchdown! The defense is running low on line bashers. They have only two left. You need to play smart from here on out. That's defense, Grim. You're asking too much of them. The offense is down to their final lineman, so he'll be playing center for the rest of the game. How's he going to be able to block all those defenders by himself, Grim? Well, he can't, which is why the QB is going to have to get rid of the ball very, very fast if he wants to stay alive. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. When he's down, he's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. With the brain scream. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. And I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. <laughs> he was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. Oh, the defender lays down a wicked hit and knocks the ball loose. The receiver just got smashed. Not as bad as me last night. He may be dead, but trust me, he's in better shape than I am right now. Oh, geez, here it goes. Blah. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted 
a high arcing rainbow. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Oh, nice hit. That's the way you do it. Let him have it and then take it away. Second down and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. He's probably in there. Oh, did he take a punishing hit? You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Brex? Yeah, the waitress at the Boot Rooters chicken wings last night? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then, then the police horse is out front in the stadium earlier. It was just a joke slap, but the horse took it seriously. Not surprised. And he caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. And here comes the extra point attempt. comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. I don't know why it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. And this quarterback must have learned. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. <laughs> his cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And it's first and ten. Ah, oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him. Not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grant. And the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Second down, the quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Does the QB know which team he's on? Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid mark. Oh man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. 
Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for a first, but still a nice game. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. The defender blows up the receiver on the play and knocks the ball loose. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh boy, where are we going, Grim? Our carnival? Hey, once you settle down, just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Okay, go back here. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Second down and ten. That, my friends, was an all pro. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Third down and, well, good luck. Good throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Oh, no good. Now that punter's gonna find a cutoff. No return on this punt, the defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when a receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Oh, thank you. I do my part. And he's off to the races. And one saver there. First and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. First down. He was not going to drop that one. And there is nothing in the rule. 
book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. First down and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Hey, Grim, what up interceptions? He's not going down. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. <laughs> First and ten. And this guy is supercharged with electricity. He oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. He's at the 40. The 30. The 20. He's at the 10. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run! They should have surrendered the last quarter. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The Hexen Oilers get crushed literally and lose by forfeit today. They battled hard, but still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I have to want any old butts involved. I kind of like our butts, especially with some Deshaun mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Not that's living. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so...